Okay, for today, we are going to discuss about the formation of partnership, okay? So, we have already tackled naman last time the um, basic principles needed not to understand what partnership is all about, okay? Today, we will now proceed to the proper, no, the accounting for partnership. Take note, okay? Partnership, okay? Partnership accounting, okay? Partnership accounting can be divided into four different um, um, phases, okay? Partnership phases, okay? So, we have, una, the first phase is yung itatakal natin today, which is the formation, okay? And then, after the formation the topic, we will proceed to the operation, which we are going to discuss how partners divide profits and losses among themselves. And then we will discuss also about dissolution. Okay. And then after dissolution, we will discuss, ito naman yung dissolution is wherein um, the partnership, the old partnership is being dissolved because of a particular um, factor such as withdrawal of a partner, death of a partner, um, admission of a new partner. The old partnership is being dissolved because a new partnership is being formed. And then we have also the last phase which is the liquidation. Okay, Yung liquidation naman guys um, pertaining to sa total termination of or absolute termination of the partnership wherein the assets, the liabilities, and the equity of the partnership is being okay, no, um, converted into zero balances. Okay? So, that is our target. However, for tonight, we will focus lang muna on the formation of partnership. Okay? So, partnership can be formed in different ways. Okay? It, it can be formed by, by number one, okay, um, two different individuals, okay, two different individuals who agreed or more individuals, two or more, okay, um, personality or persons, okay, persons, okay, that, okay, that agreed, no, to form partnership, okay, to form partnership, okay, the word person here, okay, the word person, okay, yung, yung sinasabing person na pwede can be, okay, person can be defined as natural person or yung sinatawag na um, judicial person, okay? Or artificial beings, okay? Yung sinasabing natural na tao, yung tayo, yung mga tao talaga. Pag yung sinasabing mga judicial persons, pwedeng um, yung existing na business organization, pwede po yun, okay? The two existing business organization would like to form a partnership because the the civil code, no, um, provided na pwede naman, no, yung mga persons to form a partnership and, and their formation was based on a, on, on, on an agreement, okay? Ngayon, yung problema natin is Okay, no? Hindi naman natin problema dito yung how to prepare the contract, how to prepare, how to deal with other person. Yung problema natin in this situation is how to record, no? Record the contributions, okay, 
of each individual, of each person, okay, forming the partnership, okay? Yun po yung target natin, forming the partnership, okay? Well, general rule, okay, general rule po natin dito is that a partnership can be formed, okay? A partnership can be formed, okay, by by contributing the the money, the non the um in kind or properties and industry. Take note, no partnerships partners can contribute, okay? Contribute money, okay? Um, properties or industry. Okay? Ito lang po yung pwedeng i-contribute. Okay? Pero, paano po natin i-measure itong money, properties, and industry? Okay? In the formation of the partnership. Well, the general rule, no? The measurement, okay? Measurement Okay, of this contributed money, properties, okay, proper and properties, hindi naman po natin ma measure yung industry, kaya we don't need to measure that. Kasi uh, an industry or a professional, um, uh, yung pagiging professional, I mean, ng isang tao, kaya be measured naman, Okay. Measurement of this contributed money and properties only, ha? Hindi po kasama yung industry or yung sinasabi yung um, isang expertise ng isang tao that yung expertise niya, yun yung i-contribute niya. So, the measurement of this contributed money and properties will be at fair value. Fair value when? Fair value on the date, okay, on the date of, on the date of formation. Pero, mas may lamang dito sa fair value, okay? Prior sa fair value on the date of formation ang i-consider, yung first priority talaga, okay, no? The first priority is, the agreed value. Okay? The agreed value. Yun yung pinaka mas mala taas na measurement. The agreed value. Okay? Sinasabing agreed value is ano po ba yung napag napag-aglihan ng mga partners as to the value of the properties or money being contributed. Okay? Agreed value when? Well, on the date of formation then okay on the date of formation sir what if walang agreed value yun po tayo papasok yung fair value okay take note ha? the first priority of measurement of the particular properties and money that is being contributed to the partnership Unang hanapin po natin if there is an existing agreed value. Kung wala pong agreed value no, na napag-decisionan yung mga partners, we will proceed to the fair value of the particular money and properties and the fair value when? Fair value on the date of formation. So what if agreed value is not given, the fair value is not given as well. Or, meron naman pong binigay na fair value, but the fair value is not reliable. Ano po ba gagawin natin? Well, we can use immediately the book value. Okay? The book value of the properties. Okay? The book value of the said property. Pero, very rare na po yung ganong sitwasyon. Now, we will use the book value of the said property or the said money um, in the formation of the partnership. Yung common talaga is between the agreed value and the fair value. Okay? 
So take note that this is the general principle that we need to consider on the formation of the partnership. Una, what can be contributed? Well, partnership, okay? No, the partners can contribute, okay? Partners can contribute money, properties, or industry. And then, how can we, okay, how can we measure or what is the measurement of this contributed money and properties? Well, the first priority is the agreed value. If the agreed value is not given, we will then proceed to the fair value. And then if both are not given, this will be our last remedy. Okay, will be the book value of the said properties. Sir, um, sabi mo, partners can contribute money, properties, and industry. How about if there are attached, okay, liabilities on those properties being contributed? Oh, maganda. Pwede po yun, no? Sabihin ni partner A, okay, I will contribute the land. However, the land has an existing liability. Ibig sabihin, uh, sabihin na lang natin, may attached na mortgage payable. Pwede po ba yun maisama sa contribution, sa contribution ni partner A on the partnership? Well, yes, pwede po yun. As long as other partners agreed that the liability attached to that particular property will be assumed by the partnership. Pag yung other partners will not agree that that particular um, liability attached to that property, hindi pwede i-assume, hindi po pwedeng i-assume. Yun po yung ibig sabihin nun. Okay? General rule, pwedeng i-assume ng partnership if the partners agreed that they will assume the liability attached to the property being contributed. If not, don't uh, include that as part of the contribution of the partner on the said partnership. Okay. For example, oh, I will give an, a basic illustration muna. Okay. Let's begin with the illustration. The next meeting we will proceed to the um, yung mas uh, matindi na, ha? Okay? Illustration, no? Okay? Our first illustration is partnership formed, okay? By three different personalities. Natural persons, no? Partnership, okay? Formed by natural persons, Okay? Oh, mga natural persons lang. Ibig sabihin po nun, as in yung mga tao, itong mga taong ito, um, they agree already and they will form a partnership. Okay? Sige. For example, no, A, B, C, and D agreed to form a partnership. Okay? A, okay, the contribution of A to the partnership is this. Okay? The contribution of A to the partnership is yung tinatawag niyang um, cash, okay? The cash, okay, no? The cash agreed value, okay? Agreed value is 100,000 pesos. And its fair market value, okay, or fair market value, same with the agreed value, okay? Ayon. CB... Oh, no, based sa kanilang agreement, B um, would like uh, or agreed to contribute, okay, the land, okay, the land amounting to 450,000, that is the agreed value. And then, the fair market value of the land is 500,000 pesos, okay, take note. And then, the said land, yung sinasabing land, okay? Yung sinasabing land, meron pong attach mortgage, okay? Mortgage payable na 100,000 pesos na sabihin na lang natin 75,000 pesos, okay? And then letter C, um contributed equipments, okay? Equipments amounting to 
the agreed value of the, of the said equipment is, okay, sabihin natin, the equipment is 250,000 pesos. Yun po yung agreed value. And then the fair market value of the said equipment is 200,000 pesos. Ayun. And then letter D, letter D, um, because wala naman siyang property or cash, he just contributed his expertise. Ayun, expertise. Okay? Expertise lang niya ang kinontribute niya. Okay. Is this formation of partnership valid? Yes, this is a valid partnership. Because there is a consent, there is a agreement, okay, there is an object, okay, and then there is a consideration of said partnership, okay? And then, the contributions are in accordance with the provision of the law that partners can contribute money, properties, or industry. Letter A, contributed money. B and C, contributed properties. Well, D, contributed his industry. Now, our requirement, assuming the first requirement is this, okay, assume, okay, that, okay, assume, that partnership, okay, the partners, I mean, partners agreed not to, agreed not to um, consider the liability attached, okay, na agreed not to consider or not to assume, consider not to assume, okay, the liability attached, okay, to the said attached to the land, okay? Yan po yung napag na ng partnership. That is our assumption. Paano po natin gagawa ng journal entry yan, okay? Again, ha? The assumption for letter A, the partners agreed not to assume the liability attached to the land, Okay? Yun po yung napag na nila. So, ano po mga journal entries natin? Okay. So, this will be our journal entries. Okay. For, okay. Teka lang. Lagyan natin. I-reformat ko lang para mamaya. Mas madali po natin malagay yung mga figures. Okay. So, Hopefully, nahahabol nyo yung discussion, na Okay, we will just discuss the basics lang muna. Okay, for A's contribution, for partner A contribution, our entry will be like this, no? Debit cash, kasi he contributed cash. And then, because agreed value is given, we will use the agreed value, which is 100,000 pesos, because yun yung contribution niya. And then, for the credit, okay, for the credit, for the credit po natin, we will use A, capital, kasi that is pertaining to A's contribution, which is 100,000 as well. Ayon, no? That it would be the entry for A's contribution. How about for B's contribution? Considering that the attached liability or the mortgage payable attached to the said land will not be assumed by the partnership, our entry would be this way, okay? Debit, ka, um, land, at its agreed value, guys, ha, because agreed value is given, which is amounting to 450,000 pesos, regardless if the fair market value is higher than the agreed value, it is immaterial, ha? Yung importante, what is the agreed value, yun ang susundin natin. And then, uh, for B capital, okay, you, the contribution of B will be 450,000. Okay, that will be our journal entry related to the contribution of B. How about for the contribution of C? Well, we debit equipment, 
okay? Amounting to 250,000. And then we credit C capital, okay? Capital amounting to 250,000 because we will use the agreed value. How about, sir, the contribution of D? Considering na expertise lang. Well, if that would be the case that D or one of the partners contribute, no? Contribute, contributed only his expertise, what we need to prepare is a memorandum entry. What is a memorandum entry? A one-line sentence is enough, okay? For example, in this case, D contributed, okay, his expertise in the partnership. Okay? That's it. Okay? That would be our entries, assuming that all partner, the partners agreed not to assume the liabilities attached to the said land. How about, sir, if the assumption would be this way? Assuming, no, assuming partners, okay, the partners Okay, agreed to assume the mortgage payable. Agreed to assume the mortgage payable. Okay, so ibig sabihin po nun, the partnership decided na, okay, i-consider na lang namin yung liability attached to that land. Okay, ano po entry natin in the, um, in the contribution of B? Okay, guys, no? When the mortgage payable attached to B's contribution is assumed, A's contribution, C's contribution, and D's contribution is not affected. Instead, si B lang po ang maapektuhan. So, yung entries po natin for A's contribution, for C's contribution, and D contribution will remain the same on the second assumption. Yung mag-iiba lang is the entry on letter B or by partner B because ia-assume yung mortgage payable attached to the land na i-co-contribute niya. Our entry would be like this. Still, we are going to use the agreed value of 450,000. And then we will credit mortgage payable. Why we are going to credit the mortgage payable? Kasi ia-assume nga ng partnership yung liability attached to the said land which is amounting to 75,000. So we need to credit mortgage payable of 75,000 pesos. And then our credit would be, another credit would be B capital, okay? Instead of 450, hindi na po 450 yung capital, kundi magiging 375. That would be 375. Bakit po sir naging 375? Because, okay, yung 75 pesos, Okay, 75,000 pesos, ibinawas natin sa 450 para lumabas kung magkano lang ang total liability, total capital na kinontribute ni partner B. Yun po yung ibig sabihin nun. Okay, our basis pa rin is the agreed value. Sir, what if the assumption is this way naman? The agreed value is not given, only the fair market value. That would be our assumption, no? Assuming no agreed value, no? Assuming, okay? No agreed value, okay? And the mortgage payable is not assumed. Ano po ba entries natin? Well, kung hindi po... Kung hindi po binigay yung agreed value, we will look for what? We are going to look for the fair market value, which is clearly provided in the problem. Assuming daw itong, itong mga agreed value na to hindi binigay, we will use the fair market value. So, our entry will be this way, no? no? For A's contribution, we debit cash. 
for 100,000 and then we credit A's capital for for 100,000 pesos. Okay? Bakit sir pareho lang po sa agreed value? Eh kasi yung fair market value at agreed value of the cash are the same naman based on the problem. Kaya wag po natin bigyan ng masyadong kulay bakit nagkapareho yon Kasi totally magkapareho talaga. Okay, how about on B's contribution? Well, land, instead of the 450, we will use the fair market value kasi wala pong binigay na na um, agreed value. So, we will use the 500,000 fair market value. And then, hindi po inassume yung mortgage payable. So, the capital for B would be Okay, for B would be 500,000 pesos. Okay, that would be also our entry. Okay. Okay, so that would be 500,000 pesos. And then for letter C, uh, that would be equipment kasi yung contribution niya, tignan natin magkano yung fair market value ng equipment. According to the problem, okay, is according to the problem, yung fair market value is 200,000 pesos. So, we will use the 200,000 pesos, which is 200,000 pesos, then credit, C capital, okay, and that is 200,000 pesos. And then for this contribution, well, a memorandum entry only is required. You are going just to write D, contributed his expertise, okay, one sentence is enough, his, his expertise in the partnership, okay? Ganun po yun, okay? How about, sir, no, assuming no agreed value pero the, the mortgage payable is assumed? Ayun, pwede rin naman yung maging scenario. Okay? Assuming no agreed value. Okay? Agreed value and the MP is assumed. Okay, well, our entry, pareho pa rin naman kay A, pareho pa rin si A, pareho pa rin kay C, pareho pa rin kay D. Magkakaiba lang is on this entry kasi i-assume yung mortgage payable. Well, the entry will be land for 500,000 using a fair market value. 500,000 and then okay and then we credit because we will assume the mortgage payable. Okay? Mortgage payable <coughs> Mortgage payable of 75,000 because you new value. Okay, that is 75,000. Then we credit B's capital. Uh, for how much? Well, yung pareho yung ginawa natin kanina. Okay, that is magiging 425,000 pesos. And again, that 425, nakuha po yun by deducting the 75,000 to the 500,000 because the balance will be the capital being contributed by B. Okay? So, that is the basic illustration no, related to the partnership formation of two of different or partnership formed by natural persons. Okay? In our next session, we will discuss naman how partnership are formed if one is a natural person, one is an entity. Another illustration that I will going to discuss is what is there if both um, persons are artificial being, meaning two different organizations contributed them contributed properties, cash, and industry to form a partnership. How are we going to prepare journal entries for that? That would be also our discussion next meeting so for today this will be the end of my discussion hopefully naintindihan po natin lahat no kung paano i-form ang partnership how partnership is being 
um, how the contribution of the partnership is being measured and then how we prepare journal entries to um, if the contribution is a cash contribution, a non-cash contribution, or an expertise or industry you cannot contribute. Another is what if if there is an attached liability on the said contribution? Well, general rule, let's check. Um, general guiding principle is that when um, determine first if the payable or liability will um, are. Um, are agreed upon by the partnership na i-assume nila yon, or hindi because it is the controlling um, controlling factor kung paano po natin i-entry yung liability and what its effect to the capital contribution of the of a, of a particular partner okay so that's it